Hello everyone, this is Maxi Dimitri. Today, as you already know, Apple invented brand new iOS and that includes iPad OS and iPhone OS. And today we are gonna try to install that iPad OS on my brand new 2020 iPad Pro, the one with the uh, with the dual camera, as you can see here, that is the brand new iPad uh, Pro 2020. Um, yeah, so that being said, let's start. As, as you already know, to be able to install this uh, iPad OS, you need a developer uh, account because to be able to have it, you need to be registered on the Apple server and you need to pay the $100 for the developer account. But the way you can go about downloading this uh, iPad OS today is for you to be able to find a profile. Now, um, again, this is not really a secure way to do it, but if you want to get your hands on this brand new iOS, um, iPad OS, then that's the only way to do it. Again, it's, it's always important to first back up your data, right? Always make sure you back up either on iCloud or via your computer so that if anything goes wrong, you should be able to return back to your, uh, to whatever you were using, right? So this is very important, that's step number one. Step number two is to have enough space on your device so this ipad is the ipad pro like i said and the um, the base storage that you can get on any ipad pro today is 128 gigabyte that is way enough for you to be able to get uh, the ipad os to your ipad again if you don't have a space make sure you delete some of your applications i can uh, do a separate video for you to uh, show you how you can free up space on your iPad, okay? But that will be on another video. All right, that being said, let's start. Again, you need to get a profile. Now, I don't want to be responsible for uh, for any issue that you're gonna have on your uh, device. Go to Google and you type uh, like iOS profile, you should see tons of profiles there. But again, that is not a secure way to do it. The best way to do it if you want is to be patient because up as for apple they said that the public beta profile will come around july so a few weeks from now it's always good to be patient so you can have the secure way to download and install that ios uh, on your device but nevertheless i'm taking a risk right now to be able to show you what the uh, ipad os looks like whether you should upgrade it now or whether you should wait until it's stable or not. Okay, let's start. Go back to settings and now we, as you can see at the bottom here, I already have my profile downloaded and installed on my PC. I'm sorry, on my iPad. So it's already installed. Normally, once this is installed, it's gonna ask you to put your password and then you have to restart your device. Once your device, you should have iOS uh, 14 and iPad 14 beta software profile, which will already be on your iPad. Now, once if uh, you do that, you just gonna go to software update and you should see the iOS 14 beta profile waiting for you to be downloaded. Now on this iPad, it says iPad OS 14 public beta. Now, I don't know why it didn't say developer beta, but it says public beta. Right. So all you need to do from here, if you want, you can read it. Once again, don't forget to back up your data first in case something goes wrong. Again, this is a beta profile. So for sure, things will go wrong. It is not stable. So do not do it if you are not familiar with how to restore from uh, how to restore your iOS uh, uh, profile and then how to reinstall. Uh, your backup from iCloud. It's very important to be familiar with that before continuing. Good, let's start. Now, once we have the um, iOS uh, profile here, all we need to do is download and install. Again, we have some terms and conditions that you want to read. Uh, you have two options, either you agree or you disagree. Again, if you disagree, that means you cannot install this iOS 
but you only can agree if you want to continue. So let's agree here. And then there we go. It's downloading the um, the uh, iPad OS for you. This is gonna take some time depending on your uh, on your internet connection. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pause the video and come back when we have the um, the iOS on our iPad, okay? All right, as you can see, the installation has done. It's completed and then it says software, software update complete. And then your iPad has been updated to iPad OS 14. So we did it. Okay, let's continue. Again, it's asking you to create a, um, a password. It's just two zero 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 zero. You can choose whatever you want. So if you choose something so easy, it's gonna tell you not to use that, but uh, let's use it anyway. We don't want anything complicated for this video. So six zeros, you can choose anything that you want, like I said earlier on. All right, when you're done, uh, we have this page. Uh, because it's a, um, a beta, it's obviously going to be uh, sending some data to Apple so that they can uh, so that they can improve uh, this iOS. So let's just continue. Again, on this one, I don't want to use it because I have the option. And then get started. That's it. See, it's different. Uh, we have the new widget here and uh, yeah from the look of it that's the only thing that uh, you can see that's different uh, let me see if um, I can try to see L let me see on the control there's nothing different here from the look of it except from this widget I don't see any other uh, difference um let's see uh, let's maybe let's go to wallpapers and see how if you have any new wallpaper wallpaper okay wallpaper let's go to, oh yeah we have a new wallpaper have this one it's interesting uh let me remove the uh the, the, the night one and see this is how it looks like the next one blue blue this nice blue and green that's, that's good and we have this color oh it's amazing so it looks like you have three new wallpaper um, that's all that I'm seeing right now on this one and uh, let me let me use um, I like this one let me use this one set for both This is fantastic. It's beautiful. All right, and then yeah, that's uh, it's weird. Then that I have, I don't see any. I don't see a lot of difference here. Um, if I go to settings, um, again, uh, general. You can go to software, and then we have the iOS, iPad OS 14. Mm. Face ID is the same, battery icons look the same. We have the app clip. So basically this is, uh, I think they, they, they talk about this uh, on the uh, on the keynote. You can check it out. I can put the link on the description down below. And I see that is different, the clip, and uh, I don't see anything else. All these are my applications, and then um, that's it. And obviously, if you have a beta profile, you have the feedback uh, icon. So it's always good to report any uh, malfunction of your iPad so that uh, Apple can uh, can fix it. But other than that, look, it's working fine. I was actually worried that it's gonna be lagging or slow or, or give me some some issue, but it's it is working absolutely fine really 
really, really, it's working absolutely. Oh, this is what they talk about, the search, the search uh, feature. So like basically anything you want, you just type here and then uh, it's gonna show it to you. Hey, look, I just installed this uh, iOS app on my, uh, on my uh, iPad. If you can give me some time to play around it, I can come back with another video, let's say tomorrow, and give you a full review of, uh, of the uh, iPad OS. But from the first look of it, it looks amazing. I really, really like it so far. The new widget, uh, I don't know, it looks like Android, but it's not bad, it's kind of big. And um, yeah, we also have the, the new map that they talk about on the keynote, which is here. That is uh, what I can see for the moment. Before we don't have this widget, the uh, the battery percentage, we cannot, we cannot actually click it. And we have um, the calendar here, the date and the weather. So this is, yeah, it's general and uh that is uh, pretty much it what i can see from uh from the uh yeah as changes right so but like again it's working really really fine uh, i don't see anything yet is working as it's supposed to it's very fast as it was before and then yeah so I don't see the reason why you should not uh, update this. If you want to try it out, I highly recommend you to do so. Especially for the iPad OS, it's good. Uh, later on, I'll be doing the one for the iOS. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. This is this was the first look of the iPad OS, and as you can see, it is working fine. And I think. If you want to try this, you should. All right. Thank you so much for watching. This is Maxi Demit signing out.